my name is Ellen and I'm going to do a demonstration of um, giving your own self a lice or knit check and uh, it is possible that I'll have some to remove today um, I've been going through the process of getting myself clear of lice I had a uh, last time I come through my hair I had a uh, let's see um, I think I had four bugs total. They were all nymphs and uh, a few eggs. <laughs> so, the first thing to do is detangle the hair. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Molly, I definitely don't want that phone to fall, okay? Once it's detangled, you're going to want to put put oil in the hair. And I have a a little a little kitty cape that I'm going to put on to protect my running shirt from oil. <coughs> okay. So here we go. Actually, I want to turn it around. No, that's good enough coverage. Okay. So here I have coconut oil. I keep it in this silicone bottle over here. Amalia. Here is my um, coconut oil. Just dispense. Amalia, I mostly need the camera to be clear for this. I use about that much. Um, my hair is not very thick. Um but it's long. So this is about the thickness of mine. It's not super thick. So, so I like to use a lot. This is a lot and it's, it's solid and soft right now. So it's just going to take me a little bit of effort to, um, liquefy. So it's beginning to drip. So I want to go ahead and put it on my hair. Let it be on my hair in that liquid state. You'll see there are still some. I just want to work it into my hair and uh, the warmth. Molly! <laughs> well, I have a sidekick here who's also doing her hair. <laughs> this is fun. You too will enjoy checking yourself for life. It's very exciting. Okay, so just putting it through. I actually had a little bit in my hair from last time. Um, okay, so now um, this 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 is the comb that I use. It's it's the nitpick, and the teeth have ridges on them. Um, my hair is going here, it's going down and down and down and so you see that I have this part here and so my hair is going down and I'm going to want to go in the same direction that it is right now. By changing directions with this comb that would be too aggressive and I definitely want to avoid that. So um, first thing I'm going to do, go straight down all the way around my head. Okay. So here we go, starting here. So I'm keeping, I want I want you to watch one thing as I do this. Okay, mommy. See this side right here? Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to keep, I want to keep this side facing the tips the whole time. Okay. Okay? Okay. So, <laughs> so um, again, I'm just going straight down the hair with the tips facing this side. And you have a, a little comb in the corner of the your screen that Amalia is showing you so that you know that, uh, that she is there. Don't forget, don't forget Amalia is right there.
just to the side of the camera. So um, I've been touching my scalp as I do this. The comb is just, um, the tips are grazing the scalp. And, uh, and, and then once I get to the hairline here, I'm able to pull off the scalp and direct it. Um, let's see, how can I describe this? So it's just attached to the scalp right there at the hairline. It's pulling off the scalp and going through every layer of hair oh, there. Cool. Okay, so that oh, is what cool. I'm doing and I'm going to continue cool. that same process all the way around my head. I have not... And seen... remember not to skip any spots. Yes. So let me show you how you can be sure not to skip a spot. Back here, I'm, I'm not able to see anymore, but I can feel where the comb went over. It's a very smooth path. So um, I'm going to direct You're going to put half of it on the spot that you already put it on and half of it not. True. Yes. Exactly, Amalia. Thank you. I'm overlapping. So now I'm at this point and I'm overlapping half of the comb on the area that was just combed and half on a new area. I need one of those. So now I'm, here I am here, it's overlapping. Really time and effort. Um, I'm still keeping the comb in the same direction. That way any debris is still on this side that is not facing the scalp. I am, I am going against my neck a little bit and um, as long as it doesn't hurt you, it's it's not a problem to um, be a little bit extra aggressive on this. Okay, so I have a little knot and I don't mind pulling through it. Um, but if you have big knots, then you should probably use a different brush. Yeah, you can just start your combing again. Um, in that spot, just get your detangler just and love my re- Redetangle that area and then go through again with the nitpick. So I worked my way all, almost all the way to the front. Um, I still haven't cleaned the comb once. Um, I'll probably clean the comb once I get to the front, and then I will um, direct the hair backwards at that point. I do this every morning. Just like separate and like put it in here. Mommy, does this come out easy? No, it doesn't. So coconut oil will take a couple <laughs> washings to get out of your hair, but I don't mind. It's good for me and it's good for my hands and it's good for your hands and your skin so my girls are slopping the coconut oil all over right now only on We've, my hands yeah only on her hands because in this dry winter it's helpful okay so I'm gonna do this area one more time to be sure that I got this this under this area the under spot okay so now I'm gonna clean the comb this, oh there we go so so I pulled everything off of the comb into the bowl and now I'm looking into the bowl and I'm separating the items and looking really closely to see if there are any eggs or bugs. Okay, now I want to make sure the comb is clean and then I continue. Okay. Right there? Yeah. Thank you, Matilda Lovely. All right. So um, now that my hair is all in straight lines, every 
strand is in a straight line. Um, it's ready for um, for me to do a little bit more. Um, I I happen to like to um, to just slowly grab bite by bite and direct it backwards. If this is too aggressive for you on your hair, you can take your detangling comb and, you can make and it direct it. So beautiful kids like my hair. Yeah. Molly, do your homework. <laughs> and you can direct your hair straight back with the detangling comb before, before you use the nitpick. Um, if you can see, I just did little bite by bite. Just taking a little bite of hair and directing it straight back. A little bite, directing it straight back. She meant to say bit by bit. Yeah, it's kind of like the comb is biting a little bit at a time though, so. However you want to describe it. Okay. Yeah, my hair's going smoothly enough that I don't need to re-detangle it. Double speed here. My coming demonstrates that it is possible to check for or remove lighter knits from your own hair. For precision, the task requires more effort than demonstrated in my other video, which you can click on to see how to check for or remove lice in someone else's hair. Here, it's a challenge to comb behind the head, especially because of the reaching you have to do for long hair. Reiterating the two actions that will help you be a combing success, use your free hand to feel the smooth strands on the head, and direct the comb's path to follow with slight overlap. And the second action is to pay special attention to the direction of the comb, always passing it through the hair with the clean side of the comb facing the scalp. That way the debris stays on the comb until you release the debris into your white bowl of water. Okay, so it's been 14 minutes and 15 seconds. But all those have the why. Study, body, So, that's about how long it takes me to do a thorough lice check on myself. I know that I went through my hair two times and I overlapped each as I went through, but I don't feel like it's one thorough time until I've had it all directed without any parts in it. So the first time through, we had a part right here, and the second time, there were no dead zones that didn't receive the combing, so... Um, Right now, I'm just overlapping in the back one more time in case there was any error back there. My left hand is feeling... My left hand is feeling, and my right hand is directing my comb a little bit over. A little bit overlap, and a little bit of narrow. I'm gonna do it even though I hate it. What I'm showing you right now is one little bug. That is a little bitty nymph. It's about the same size as the egg. You can also see the egg 
that I removed from my hair. Right, let's see, right, right there. So there's an egg right there and a bug right there. Um, this, this um, bug right here, it's um, in person I'm able to identify this this um, shadowy area over on this side as um, as legs. So those aren't just blob of shadowness. I can I can see the individual legs. My camera's not no 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 my camera's not able to um, focus enough to uh, to see it. But then for this egg, let's see if I can for this egg right here, um, you can see that on um, on this right side, on that right side, it has the stick out part, and the other side is just kind of egg shape. So it's kind of a tadpole shape. Um, and here's here's kind of a, here's the comb for a, for scale. So you see the size of it is really tiny compared to the comb. Um, all right.